So yes, I'm reviewing Ghostbusters, and I really enjoyed this film. I saw it for the first time last night, and loved it. So, it's a story of three men who capture ghosts. That is probably the best way I could describe it in one sentence. So, the visual effects, I'll just talk about that first. The visual effects in the library sequence at the very start of the film, I think are impressive for the time. If the movie studio released a film like this nowadays, I'll probably think, Ugh. we've moved on, it's 2023, we should be getting better visual effects than this. But for 1984, the visual effects are really good. Yes, the ghosts. I like the ghosts. They're funny characters. We expect them to look a bit better today if the movie was made in 2023, as I keep saying. Well, I've only said that twice, but anyway. I just feel like the movie would look a lot better if it had been made in 2023, but it is still so much fun to watch, and it is extremely good for 1984. Now, the jokes in this film are just excellent. This movie is so funny. My absolute favourite scene in the film is at this restaurant where the three men are fighting this ghost but it's a button that they are trying to capture and they just cause so much havoc. They wreck the tables, they wreck the plates and everything. They just cause so much havoc and made a real mess of the place. And yet that scene is so funny. What I love most is how the ghost even finds the funny. It's even sticking out its tongue like, uh, making fun of them at one point. That was really funny. All the characters in this movie are great. I also like one character that I don't see getting a lot of praise, who I don't think would get a lot of praise, but I think they are a really good character. The receptionist. The way she talks and her character I really like. Rick Moranis plays his funny neighbour who keeps getting himself locked out of the house. I mean, come on, it is really funny and I love that happening, but come on, buddy. You can't keep getting yourself locked out of the house. I also love the music of this film. The music has an excellent theme to it. I just think that the idea of this story and the idea of the movie just works really well in this film. It's done really well and I really love this movie. The plot is excellent, the screenwriting is amazing, and there's some good direction in there as well. I love the villain at the end. He is this marshmallow man, he is so cool. And I love the way he, oh, this is a spoiler, this is a spoiler, just be warned if you haven't seen the movie, please check it out, it is excellent. Seriously, it is an amazing movie, but I'm about to spoil something for you. And the way that the Marshmallow Man dies is just so cool. He gets melted by fire, like he's roasted, like marshmallows roasting. And then the marshmallow goes everywhere. I just think that is such a cool way of him dying. I just think that was so cool. I love the character. He looks amazing. The movie seems like it's meant to end with the four men. There's four men in the end. There's a fourth man who comes in later in the movie. The movie seems like it's meant to end with the four men fighting the ghost. Well, it doesn't. It instead ends with them attacking the Marshmallow Man. Well, they don't have a fire with him, but they set him on fire. They get sidetracked from the ghost thing. I think that is okay, and I'll tell you why. Because at the very end of the movie, you see this ghost flying across from right of you, like, Oh yeah! They never fought the ghost. They never extracted them. That never happened. It's just like, oh yeah, there's more to it. I just love the ending. I think the ending works really well in this film. I just think this film is all in all an excellent film. There's amazing performances from everyone. I love all the characters. I love the visual effects for the time. They look amazing for the time. I just think this film is great. I'm going to give Ghostbusters an A+. Please check this film out. This is great. I love this film. It was amazing. Just please check it out. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe before the video ends in T-minus 3, 2, 1.